Hey guys, it's Renee. For today's dessert, we're going to be making something different using one different material that I've never used, but ever since I tried it for the first time, I've been obsessed with it, and it's rice cake. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be using some rice cake. They come in the presentation like this, well, the ones that I find, and we're going to be using three. We're going to be using one for you, one for me, and the other one because one is just not enough. Then some chocolate. I'm just going to be working with my favorite one right now and I'm going to be using half a cup of this and then some nuts. Here I'm just using probably one tablespoon. I didn't measure it but I'm guessing that's what it is. And a knife. I would highly suggest you to work with a serrated knife. It's going to be easier for you to cut the whole thing. Another ingredient that I forgot to actually show you here is cream cheese and I'm using Philadelphia because I love it. And we're going to be using a tray, some wax paper, a spoon. I'm really hungry now so let's go ahead and start making this. Okay, to start with, I'm just going to start with the easiest one. I'm going to start by tempering my chocolate as you can see right there. You can melt it as well if you want to. Just drizzle some chocolate on the top in there using a spoon. I'm using my spoon, but if you want to have a more, let's say, precise or just more uh, visually prettier you know, application of your drizzle, you, just, you can place your chocolate inside of a Ziploc bag and then carry on from there. Since I don't really mind and I think it looks cute anyways, I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm just going to sprinkle with some nuts on the top. And that's pretty much it for the first one. I told you it's super easy. The second one is a bit more complicated, but not really. The first thing we're going to be doing is with a knife, we're going to be cutting a kind of a square in the middle of our rice cake. You are going to have some leftovers from this ones, but you can just, you know, eat them later or just do what I did and just add some chocolate to the leftovers and just eat them as well. We're just going to be cutting that into four pieces. So each rice cake is going to give you four small squares, we would say. Okay, then we're going to be kind of sandwiching them together. So make sure both um, have kind of like the same size or they go together as a pair. Then I'm just going to be taking my pear and I'm just going to be adding some creamy cheese in the middle part. You can pretty much customize it to your liking. If you don't like creamy cheese, you can add something else. And then you're just simply going to place at the top part and then just clean the edges. Okay, for the next step, we have to kind of cover the whole thing in chocolate. The easiest way that I found is just first start with the top part. So I'm just going to, you know, dip my whole piece into the chocolate and then just let it harden for a bit. So it's easier to handle. If you have done cake pops, you can submerge the whole thing and then just everything is going to be covered. But for me, this is easier, especially with this kind of shapes. So once my top part is hardened, I'm just going to go to the edges. Now for that, I found it easier to just work with a toothpick and then just go all around it like that, um, dipping my, I don't really know how to call this, my, my dessert in that chocolate and then cleaning the excess or just smoothing the whole thing with my knife and then just topping, but just the kind of edges with my nuts. Of course, you can customize it. You can add your nuts all around. You can add your nuts on the top, just on the top. But I thought it was, you know, cuter to just do it on the sides. And I really like it. You can use other toppings as well, like chocolate sprinkles, regular sprinkles, almonds. You can add a lot of things. You can even add more drizzling in there. You can customize it to wherever you want to. But yeah, I just want to share this idea and I honestly love them. They taste super good. They remind me to a flavor of a product that is already in the market, but I can't put my finger on it. If you give it a try and you know what it is, let me know. And let me know also if you like this kind of random desserts or if you want me to stick more to cookies, cupcakes, and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this one if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more desserts. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.